Welcome back everyone to MGL Stamp Studios. I am Maria Gia, an independent Stamping Up demonstrator located in California. Card project and what it looks like is a card where you also have like a mini album so you can see that you can open it up and has a really nice feature where you can have a whole scene and also in the back to continue the story. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Two sheets of DS of eight and a half by eleven, and I'm going to show you how to cut it. So that's why I haven't done it yet. You're going to need one sheet of DSP for this entire project. And I'm going to show you how I cut the DSP to enable you to create this project really quickly. So you can do a ton of these really fast. So let me just get that going. First thing you need is your cutter. And this is my favorite cutter because it has a scoring blade and a cutting blade. And that's what um, will make this project go really fast. So the first thing is let's just cut our DSP and then we'll get that out of the way. So let's just do that first. Okay, collapsible arm. Yes, you're gonna need this. I'm gonna move it over just so you can see that. Okay, first thing I'm gonna suggest is that we're gonna cut the paper. I'm gonna just, sorry, do this. This paper has a pattern. I chose this pattern intentionally so you could see that if you have a pattern for example the scene you're going to want the pattern wherever you want it like face up okay so this card is a portrait card so i'm going to cut my piece of paper and my recommendation is when you make that first slice you're going to put a post-it one and this will make sense later so i want you to put post-it number one and a post-it number four on the bottom, okay? So I need you to put two post-its like that, okay? The next thing I want to do is the second cut. Again, at four, make that cut. Open the score blade, and I want you to put a two and a five, okay? So two and five. And then you have this remaining piece, which I want you to put a three and a six like that. Okay, this will make sense in just a second. Okay, the first thing you need to determine is what part of the pattern you want. For this one, it doesn't matter. But if it mattered, you would either have to decide now if you want to keep this middle part or if you want to cut on the ends. Okay, for this one, it doesn't really matter except that it's going up and down. So I'm just going to cut five and one quarter right there. Five and one quarter. So you're going to have six of these pieces. And I don't need, and for this one, I'm going to go this way and five and one quarter. Okay, so that I am cutting the center piece of that paper, keeping the scrap. Okay, so that's one and four. Do the same for two and six. Five and one quarter. And then turn it upside down, five and one quarter. Okay, and the last one. Five and one quarter. And again, upside down, and five and one quarter. Okay. So now you have one, five. Go get four, three, two, and one. Will all make sense in just a second. Okay. Now, so sorry, I meant eight and a half by eleven. Okay, so you have two sheets. 
you two for this project. So for the first sheet, this is going to be your card base. So you could do save yourself some time and you're at the four and one quarter. And I need you to just go here and score. So just score a couple times. Okay. And then I am going to literally turn it around and cut at five and a half. Okay, and that's it. So now I have two card bases and scored. Okay, I'm going to put these away. Now this part is important. You can either cut so that you have this this area to be long on the 11 inch side. So I need you to go across to five and a half. Okay. Okay, so now you have two pieces, five and a half by 11 and three by 11. So for these, I want you to cut four inches and four inches. Okay, so now you have these three bases and this three by three pretty precise about. So what I do is I go half an inch over, and sorry, I'm trying to keep within your view here. Okay, so for half an inch on this side, or you can choose the other side, keep it flush, half an inch. Okay, now, now I'm flipping it around, and this is the half inch side, so make sure that you keep the half inch that's been scored and we're going to move over to four and five eighths so what is that that's two tick marks for one eighth two tick marks for two eighths three tick three sets of tick marks four sets of tick marks and then two over that is five eighths and i need you to just score and then if you did this right we're going to go over to eight and three quarters so all the way eight and three quarters is over here and we're going to cut and that is all we need to do for the cutting i've done it the other way where you try to Cut it first and then score in half and it doesn't work as well. For this project you also need a bone folder. Alright I'm back. I found my bone folder. You, you need that for this project. So you have this sheet that's five and a half by nine and three quarters. You have the other card base which is five and a half scored in half so now I'm going to score it and it's important to make sure that it is scored pretty crisply along the half so now you have a card base that is four and one quarter by five and a half okay, I'm going to leave this here for a second okay here is the accordion mini album part of your card so you have the half inch score mark and that I want you to bend slowly and then we're gonna put a nice score across so score this pretty crisply so it lies flat okay okay there's a fun fold so you have to make sure that it is crisp and what we're doing right here if you can see it makes like a all right so now you have the half and then you have it in a valley or a mountain fold here. So that's what you want. You want the half and then you want this coming in like this. Okay. For the next part, you need your multi-purpose mono glue. And you can use other glue, um, but I think that 
it allows you to have a little bit of wiggle room in case you're not 100% precise and you need to be for this card. So my recommendation is that you use this glue. And the way I did it, is I added the glue across like that. And then with this side, okay, I'm trying to keep this before the seam like that. You want to make sure it is precisely level and on before the crease. And you need to wiggle it a little bit. And you want to make sure that it folds in, okay? So that gives you this fold. Now, sometimes, just like what I just did, you get a little bit of adhesive here. No worry. This is a rubber um, eraser. And what you do is you just erase the adhesive off to remove all the sticky. That's a really good tip. Okay, now, now you have a card that bends over and across like that, okay? And you notice that when you open this, it's hard to tell. Let me find a piece of sticky mask so you can see this. This is hard to tell. This has a little bit of give right there. That's what you need. Um, if you go to this fold line, it gets too thick. And that's why you have to do it this way. So folds this way. So that is your basic card right there. You see, it looks like this. Okay. And that makes this accordion little mini album that you can give out as gifts. So let's go back. So you remember these? One, two, all the way to six. Okay, what you need for the front is number one. So the front is one. And it's pretty quick if you do it this way. You can use glue if you wish, but I'm just gonna use this. And you have a little bit of a border, okay? Okay, so that was number one, that's gone. Okay, you would think that you could use two. No, no, no. Keep two and three, and we're gonna put those to the side. Okay, so just keep them right here. Okay, so two and three are gonna stay put. I need four, five, and six. Okay, so if you open this panel, okay, sorry for the glare, you're gonna see that four goes here, five goes here, and six goes there. And so if you had a scene, the scene is all cohesive. You see how the seams are perfect here? That's why I did it this way. Okay, so if you wanted to have anything gapped, you can gap it, but this is why I cut it this way. Okay, so let's just stick these together. So let's just stick these, I took this one. Here you are. Now you see that these are perfectly joined. Now, so when you go like this, it's perfect. Okay, remember the two little pieces, these pieces? Okay, you could put photos here or decorate it any way you want. So I'm just gonna choose photo mats. So So now this is the closes. Remember these two panels? Okay, so we still have um, two panels and that is two and three. So two and three now go together.
in the back. You have this, you have that. And if you want to, you can decorate this any way you want. So you could see that you could put any decoration here. Now you have this beautiful accordion style. And you can use up all your paper by having a beautiful little card. So there you go. And let me just show you some samples. So for this one, here it is again. And you will notice that you have this happier than happy. I have a friend who's gonna have a baby, so I thought, oh, this would be beautiful. So you have the scene saying hello. You say happier than happy. I use the dies to create this scene. And I use the DSP, and this is why it mattered. See how the mountains all flow? And you can use this as a group card or you can put photos for the baby. And in the back, you have plenty of space. So that was one idea with happier than happy. Okay. This next one was the little Scotty. And if you remember, little Scotty is a Christmas set. So I used um, little tidings and I forgot to give you the reference. I'll give that to you at the uh, bottom, but I used a little Christmas tree here use that gingham cottage paper in the back. Okay, so here you have beautiful Christmas scene that you can open up and there is the entire scene. So you have all the little Scotties having a fun time and it's so cute. And then in the back, I have the little cute Scotty. So that is the Christmas one, okay? All right, so I told you that you don't have to use little Scotty just for Christmas. I did a birthday card, same thing. So I used the punch and you notice I actually used my photos here. So this is our dogs and you have beautiful pictures. You could have your own photos here and then you can write here and then in the back you can add some more photos. So that's just to give you an idea and it's a nice birthday card. If you just wanted to say hello, you could totally change the color scheme. So this is number three, actually four. And here we have it in pink. And then you have here, you could put a photo right here. Again, you can have all these beautiful photos and I just kept it really clean. And the same thing in the back. You can decorate it any way you want. Okay. And then as a bonus here, I thought, well, maybe you would want to see a belly band. So this one is the um, cup of tea set. And this has a magnetic closure. So you can open it. Okay. And see it has a magnet. Okay. So for this one, it has a belly band. And I use the tea set with the paper. And again, you open it. And you have this. You could put photos here. I kept this open so you can do that. And then you can open and have photos, photos, photos. And you can see the back. You could do a lot here in the back. And you have this beautiful set. And what's nice about this. I just closed it is that it comes with matching envelopes in this suite so you could have a beautiful matching envelope to go with this one okay and as a bonus this is a retired set um, but this was my sample copy I have to practice before I tried with the pattern so if you have this paper here's another idea I bought this paper and loved it and so it is retired but you get an idea of how I came up with the design. And you can do so much with this. So again, this is bonus, it's retired, but if you have this, maybe it will inspire you as well. So there you go. You have this set. You have the cup of tea, the little Scotties. And let me know which one you like the best. We have that and happier than happy. So let me know which one you like and I'll have the instructions below. As a bonus, I can also send you the, um, if you want a landscape, here's another way to do it. If you want to do it this way, 
can also have that. So I'm going to put that instruction in the back as well. All right. Thank you, everyone. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And that is this huge, beautiful paper. And it is called Hostess Gift Exclusive on page 179 of the annual catalog. You may have missed it, but it's a design, a daydream. And it comes with 48 sheets. And you notice that there's a lot of designs in this. And it comes with a lot of paper. And also it has another side. So I really recommend that you check it out. But that's what I'm gonna use today to Christmas Scotty. And it's a Christmas set, but you can use it for any season. And it also comes with a matching punch um, that it comes with this beautiful collection of paper. And I've already used some, but you see here, it comes with beautiful paper as well. And you can also look at the back side with these beautiful different variety of papers as well. Okay. Paper in the Gingham Cottage collection has a ton of paper as well in a lot of colors. And um, I can put it, the description of those colors in the link below. But for now, you can see that there's a ton of paper in here. With, that you can use throughout. Thank you for watching today's project. Check out the link below for additional information and also my website for project information and product details. Happy crafting everyone!